Hi. Hello, boys and girls. God damn it. I'm going to do a series of videos, short and to the point, on how to be a pro se litigant in the intactivism movement. Number one, you go online to your local circuit court and you, it's so easy, there's nothing to say about it. But uh, I will put up samples of my own work. Uh, it's just formatting. You just format the case style. It's what they call the heading. You get your margins. You get the, the font and the uh, size of the font. Points, I think they call it. And, uh, and you double space it. God damn it. A couple of headings. I will show you my complaint. And um, when you send this into the court, it'll go on with a cover sheet that you get off of their website, and you just tick a few boxes. It's meaningless. I mean, it's nothing to it. And then you have a summons form, and you have to usually provide that. You, I'll show you the sample. They might have one. The civil, civil circuit court might have one on their website, or just really easy to make up. Case style on the top, same as the complaint, and um, some boilerplate language, and you give them a couple of checks. Uh, the filing fee was 400 or 410, right around there, and uh, the, the the sheriff department will serve um, one of the people who will serve the uh, summons, and I think they got forty dollars. And they, uh, the court also got another $15 or something for taking it over to the sheriff to ask him to serve the summons. The only thing I did before this was send a demand letter or a cease and desist letter to the hospital that I sued. You know, just, you're going to stop it. If you don't stop it now, you'll run down to the NICU, 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 whatever they call it. In order this to be stopped, you're going to get sued. It's not no time, no more time to wait. So it was just as a matter of uh, you know ticking the boxes. Send one of those to the uh, hospital, whoever you're suing. This is intentional infliction of emotional distress. Now, if you think of another way, do it your way. You could still look at my papers and see how everything's formatted. It seems like a lot because you have these local rules, you've got the state rules of civil procedure, federal rules of civil procedure, state rules normally follow uh, federal rules, and um, but it's it's kind of silly uh, because what the point they're trying to make in all of this is you have to know how to read and write. And most of, I tell you, intactivists already know how to do this better than most uh, lawyers and judges. You're going to be shocked when you see their writing. I mean, you're going to be shocked. Uh, so that's video one. Send a demand letter and then write the complaint. It takes, I think mine were... Double space now, three, four, five pages. I can't remember, but you'll see. And then uh, put on a cover sheet and then uh, the summons form. By now you're into it for almost $500. Don't tell me you can't spend that. Now, um, you, the, the clerk now and in the civil court in Florida... God, it's gotten real easy because uh, you have to fill out another form so you can see what the court puts on the docket or file or the court case electronically in their system. And and then you get in that system and then they notify you every time something happens. with the, They notify when you, they upload your complaint, they upload 
the summons form, service of summons completed, and um, then the uh, defendant, whoever you're suing, has, this varies a little bit, 21 days, 14 or 21 days to respond. The court uploads that, and then um, you're off to the races. Now, the first thing that the defense is going to write is a um, motion to dismiss. And uh, I'll uh, get into that in the next video.